For the Love of Mrs. Emmons, Unforgettable Silent Film Actress. Once you see her, you can never forget her. Thanks to two dedicated film fans, Jenny LaRue and Mike Cox, the veteran silent film actress Mrs. Louise Emmons has a name, credits, and renown. The two met while working at Larry Edmonds' bookshop in Hollywood. As they got to know each other, they discovered a shared fascination for the obscure, silent female character actress whose very appearance scared the bejesus out of them watching films on TV. They wondered what her name was and what film she had been in. They particularly felt frightened after her appearance in the Our Gang short Mushing Milk, possibly her biggest and most famous role. Leonard Malton and Richard Bann, in their book, The Little Rascals, The Life and Times of Our Gang, called her the most frightening old crone ever recruited for an Our Gang comedy. She looks like a Dickens villain come to life. After seeing her pop up in King Kong and The Return of Shandu, LaRue and Hawks began paying attention when they were watching films or looking at stills, occasionally discovering her at the edge of a frame such as in this still from the Grasp of Greed in 1917, where she's on the edge of the frame, to the left, and in Cecil B. DeMille's Silent the Ten Commandments from 1923, where she's at the very bottom of the frame. As Mike Hawks describes her, she was a set piece, someone who created an atmosphere just by her presence. She could upset an audience with no makeup. In 1989, they finally hit pay dirt. While conducting an appraisal of stills for the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Marketeric Library, Hawks made the ultimate discovery. Looking at stills for the 1926 film The Greater Glory, featuring Boris Karloff, Hawks found her in a photo with the actor. Slowly turning it over, he found her identified as Mrs. Louise Emmons. Eureka! LaRue immediately ran to the Hall of Records and discovered her date of birth and death and that she was buried at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. They began compiling a filmography and researching her background with the help of others, all in pre-digital days. Mrs. Emmons appeared in a wide variety of movies in the teens, including D.W. Griffith films like Judith of Bethulia and Hearts of the World, along with the likes of Bobby of the Ballet from 1916 seen here. Louise is at the very top of the still. Louise appeared in the 1919 Captain Kidd Jr., directed by William Desmond Taylor and starring Mary Pickford, and the 1922 serial White Eagle with Ruth Rowland. Louise is dressed as an Indian on the left. Louise was born Louis Atkinson in Yuba County, California in 1858, growing up in Virginia City, Nevada with her family where her father served variously as postmaster, judge, and speaker of the Nevada Assembly. Louis, or Louise to the family, was an artist from a young age. She went west to Oakland's Mills College and studied art and became an artist in San Francisco. She met Roswell G. Emmons, a driver for automobile companies, and they married in San Rafael, California, April 21, 1904. He became a chauffeur, and they lived in Santa Barbara from 1907 to 1912. He would later appear in moving pictures like The Miracle Man and Hearts of the World. Mrs. Emmons added a lot of unique color to prestige pictures in the 1920s like The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, Robin Hood, The Ten Commandments, Three Ages, The Unknown, When a Man Loves, the King of Kings, and My Best Girl. Here she is with silent idol Rudolf Valentino in Blood and Sand. Director Eric von Stroheim cast her in his 1922 feature Foolish Wives, always enamored of a striking character face. If a picture is worth a thousand words, Mrs. Emmons takes the cake. Other appearances include the film Resurrection with Dolores Del Rio, Evangeline also with Del Rio, and Flames of the Flesh with Gladys Brockwell. She's probably best known for her role as housemother in the 1932 Our Gang short Mush and Milk 
with her immortal line, Bah! Widowed in 1919, Louise often played a particular type because of a facial deformity caused by a medical condition. After years back and forth with Hollywood Forever and working their way through red tape, Hawks and LaRue were finally able to purchase a headstone for her unmarked grave. Sadly, Louise and her husband are buried at different cemeteries, Roswell at Forest Lawn Glendale and Louise at Hollywood Forever. On March 23, 2014, 17 guests saw the grand unveiling of her simple but sweet tombstone. Louise A. Emmons can truthfully be called unforgettable.